Hello, everybody. Today is day 144, reading from Psalms 108 through 110. David expresses his anguish over his treatment by evil people. Now, this demonstrates his humanity and also how we will typically respond when we are treated unjustly. People have lied to him, he says. Uh, he, he says, words have been spoken uh, in hatred against me. Um, I've been misrepresented. I, uh, in fact, I've fought against, uh, I've been fought against without a cause, that, that people have just turned on me. And, that, and we know this is true, that loyal supporters and friends and family had, had all turned on them and uh, on David. And he says, I've, I've loved and, and they've hated me back. I've, I do good for them and they return that with evil. So he, David invites God to reward his enemies with judgment. It's, it seems harsh. It seems uh, so unusual because he's actually asking specific things about those who have treated him poorly, those who have been uh, have rewarded him with evil. And says, listen, I'm asking that you will pay them back for what they've done to me. I, I'm asking that you would shorten their life. I'm, uh, David was asking God that their family names would be forgotten, that their wives would not be able to have children, that there would be poverty and pain, that they that they would not experience forgiveness. These are, these are incredible things that David is asking here. And I, we understand this. God has certainly vindicated David and demonstrated his pleasure in David. And so he, he is in many ways looking at God and saying, God, I'm just asking that you would, would pay them back for what they're doing to me. And these are common emotional responses, aren't they? When we hurt, we want someone to pay. When we would like to see justice prevail, we, we desire to see fairness in life. But this is contrasted with the law of grace. And that's what we're introduced to through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus brought a different response to the issue of our enemies, a counter cultural, anti-natural response uh, to the way people treat us. And he, in fact, Jesus says, hey, I'm, I'm calling you to love your enemies and to do good to those who hate you, that you would turn the other cheek, that you'll go the extra mile, that you forgive 70 times seven, and that you don't hold a grudge. That this, this understanding of forgiveness as it is the canceling of a debt, the release of the offender. And Jesus says, hey, listen, it's written, uh, yes, under the old law, that which David was familiar with, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That would fit what David is inviting God to do in Psalms 108. But at the same time, Jesus confronts that by saying, but I say to you, do good, forgive. Uh, your enemies. This is the grace approach that Jesus ushers in. That's what we are under is the grace dispensation. Thank God that we are. Do to others what you want them to do, do, do to you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Forgive others as you want to be forgiven. Our heart must see why people do what they do. And we know what it is. It's sin. We realize there's a sin problem. And we're born in that sin and we all have flaws and we're sh we fall short. And, and it's for this that Jesus Christ came that we might be forgiven and released from the penalty of our sin. As we recognize our need for personal forgiveness, when we realize how far we have fallen short of the ideal of God, then we must desire others to experience the same grace, mercy, and forgiveness in their lives. I've been released from judgment. May God release others that they too might experience the wonderful grace of God. Then Psalms 110 uh, is a messianic chapter. Now this is in reference to a future event. David is prophetically declaring the coming of the Messiah and says, the Lord said to my Lord. It's, it's almost an interesting verse right there, but it's one that Jesus uses to defend before the religious leaders that indeed the Messiah would be divine. And uh, in fact, this chapter describes the coming Messiah, Jesus as a priest, a king, having a kingdom. And yes, one day 
we do realize the grace season that we are privileged to be a part of will come to a close. That book will be closed and Jesus Messiah will return and he was coming with to judge and to execute wrath and to sentence an eternal verdict to every man, woman, boy, and girl. And then he's going to rule supremely as king. May we not lose sight of the rich reward we have that David had not yet been introduced to. Though he prophesied the coming Messiah, he had not experienced the wonderful grace that this Messiah would usher in. And you and I are living under such a period.